Welcome back to another studio vlog. So in this video, we're going to do something a little different than usual. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a company called Flexi Spot who makes these height adjustable standing desks. And today they sent me this brand new table for me to try out. I'm super excited to do this, mainly because I've been watching Start Up, which is a K-drama on Netflix. And there's this scene where the engineers kind of move into like a more fancy office. And the first thing they did was play with this height adjustable table. And now I have one one of my own so i'm really hoping that having a more ergonomic setup in my studio can help better my quality of life and also help me improve my posture so i'm gonna set up the table do a little preparation for my shop update and then i'm going to do a quick little desk tour for you guys so let's start cricket mat on the table and there's still space for my ipad it looks very nice come look you fit everything i fit everything, everything. <laughs> i think i can even put this um lamp because it's a clip and this is pretty thin yeah i don't want the table to like below it though so we can put it back where we usually do them yeah. it's nice yeah what about the stuff inside? Have to find some new storage. Do what you dream about. You smoking out the window. Oh, darling, Geppetto, I'm wishing on a star too. Grow legs and start talking. Walking right beside you. Cut off the strings and put me down. Tell me what I'm missing.
Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how I turn a design on Procreate into an actual physical sticker sheet. So before we get into all the details, I just want to let you know like the dimensions that I've been working with and stuff. If you bring up the Procreate gallery here and you tap on plus, you can select a new canvas and the size that I use is 200, no, 2100 pixels by 2900 pixels. I feel like here they say 2100. 2900 and I'm still getting used to that. Anyways, um, if you're planning to print the image, make sure that your DPI is 300 or above just so that the image will come out with better quality and to make sure that the colors come out as close as the original drawing as possible um, make sure to change your canvas from rgb which is the default to cmyk and the option that i usually select is just generic cmyk profile and i've noticed that ever since i started drawing on cmyk the art that i printed out has better color accuracy as compared to when i drew on rgb so anyways here is a finished drawing that i made i like to leave some space up top for like the header and then i draw a few designs down here before you export the file just make sure that you turn the background color off and for my stickers i also like to create this white offset around the design and i will link up here the video where i explain how to create like a seamless white offset but once you have everything done the header and the stickers with the white offset and everything just go ahead and tap this tool up here, select share and make sure to save as PNG so that the background remains transparent. And I use a Cricut Explore Air so I'm just going to go ahead and tap the Cricut Design Space. Um, under Canvas, I'm going to come to Upload, select from Photo Library, click on the design that I want and it's going to open up like this. As you can see from the shadows here, it's a little wonky and some of the designs are like stuck together. But not to worry, all you have to do is tap on Remove and then select any transparent area and you will see that that will clean right up. Ta-da! Uh, what's this called? Woodland Friends, I can't type with my apple pencil my friends exclamation mark so the uploaded image gets added to this folder of your previous design so you're just going to select on it and press insert and now that it shows up you can tap on the image tap on edit and you will see the size in inches width and height and usually for my sticker sheets i like to go for maybe four by six which is like the general um, postcard size but I'm thinking I might go even smaller for this one because the designs are much bigger than my cozy cottage sticker sheet and I don't want the stickers to be too big so I'm just gonna experiment with maybe 3.5 is that too small 3.5 inches that's not too bad I think that's gonna be okay actually I'm also gonna turn it around so that I can print two in one A4 paper and save space and then I'm gonna duplicate that drag it down here okay and then I'm gonna tap make it to see what it looks like on A4 paper it should be fine oh it's coming out like that mm, no the calibration is gonna be weird if that happens attach so this is what it's supposed to look like on the cutting mat. I'm going to make um, just one first because I'm still testing. I make sure to turn off the bleed so I don't have that gray line that I used to have problems with when I first started doing this. So once I get to printing, what I do is I don't print directly from the Cricut Design Space app because then it kind of messes with the colors of my printer a little. I have a Canon PIXMA and I've heard from many people that they have the same problems. So here's a little trick. Tap on print, it brings you to this page and instead of just printing directly, you're gonna zoom in on the image. So it comes up like this. Go to the upper right corner and tap on this thing and just save to files. So I'm going to name this Woodland Friends and then save and instead of printing from the Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go directly to the Canon Print app. I'm going to go to Document Print and then look for the file that I just saved. It should be at the bottom here. So it opens up like that. I tap on Next, Copies 1 and I'm going to tap on Print. So this is how the print turned out. I really like the size and the color looks very nice. Um, it's a little dark outside today, so I'm sorry if this video 
doesn't have good lighting but yeah because this is glossy paper i'm gonna go ahead and put the matte masking tape all over the cut lines first and then i'm going to show you which settings i use on the cricut app So I'm back on the Cricut Design Space. I'm just gonna tap continue without printing because I already printed from a separate application. In order to make kiss cuts, I set the material to paper and you don't have to select anything on the app itself. You just have to turn the dial on your Cricut machine to paper. And here it just says load tools and mat. So I'm gonna do that. Ta-da! Good morning friends! As promised, I'm going to do a quick little desk tour for you guys today. I'm just going to show you what I have on my desk, talk about some new products that will be available on my shop update, as well as some art supplies and other packaging supplies and how I store them in my little studio space. So starting on the left, we just have a little bit of foliage here. I have these yellow carnations that I bought from the supermarket and I think they're super super pretty. I get inspired by flowers and plants a lot so I just like to have them around my studio space down here is my glacier pothos that i got from a shop on amazon it got its name from the white variegation on the leaves because it kind of looks like ice and snow and if you look closely the variegation makes the green look like brush strokes so i really really like having this around my studio with me and down here we have some friends who keep me company while i work we have this yellow bao lamp that's gotten a lot of questions throughout my videos um I actually got this as a gift from two of my friends, so I don't really know where they purchased it from. I think I saw something similar in Urban Outfitters, so you can go check that out. And here we have a little whale shark called Jinbo. Everybody say hi to Jinbo. This little guy is a crochet push from Ohana Crafts. Um, he's handmade by Carrie, who's also a good friend. And she used this velvet type of thread that makes it so, so soft. And I adore these little spot details on the back of the whale shark so much. Shout out to Ohana Crafts and Carrie. Thank you for helping me adopt little Jinbo. And I just love him so, so much. Back here, we have some art prints that I outsourced. This one is from Cat Print com and this one is from moo.com um, these are new and they're also going to be available on my shop update tomorrow so if you're interested please check them out um, i just kind of keep them in the corner here because it's easy to grab when i'm packaging 
And yeah, that's all for my art prints. I also want to let you know that the left side of my desk is right next to my bed. So sometimes I kind of treat this as like a nightstand. I have my lip balm here, my AirPods, and I have this bubble candle that I really, really love. The geometric shape is so pretty and it's lavender scented. So I really like to have something lavender scented near me when I sleep. I think it de-stresses me and it helps me sleep better. And even though this is a candle, I've never actually lit it because I really adore the bubble shape and I'm scared that it's gonna lose it if I light it. <laughs> and in the center here we have my iPad. I use a third generation iPad Air with a first generation Apple Pencil to draw. I kind of just use these two for everything and I draw everything on an application called Procreate. I got this iPad stand from ikea it was around four to five dollars it's super sturdy and it's not expensive so i definitely recommend and back here i just have some stationery that i use most regularly i bought this mason jar from a dollar store they were for a dollar and i just kind of put everything into it um, i have some white pens that i use for detail white posca pens i have micron pens in different sizes because i use these to draw and sketch i have muji pens um, in size 0.5 because i also really like them and i have my exacto knife this ruler i stole from my boyfriend's workplace and just generic scissors that you have at home i also have this bt21 baby cookie pen that's adorable but absolutely useless <laughs> i remember unboxing the bt21 journaling set in one of my older vlogs and this pen was so nice to use at first but after around one to two months it just stopped working so i just kind of keep it around because i really like baby cookie and i like having him peek through all my stationery here <laughs> on the right side of the table we just have a space where i keep all my stickers and products for my shop i got these acrylic organizers from amazon and they come in a set of four so i have all four of them lined up here i kind of use them to store my different stickers so the tea cats are here i have this reindeer cat that i am currently working on but i think the color is still a little too saturated so i'm gonna um, have to work on that. I have my Moquette Kai Cat stickers, my strawberry stickers that I still need to restock. I have these new Woodland Friends stickers. My S'more Cat and Pumpkin Cat are back here. Cozy Cottage sticker sheet and this thing I like to call Mokai Mochi. They're kind of just Mocat and Kai Cat emojis that are printed on matte sticker paper. I think they would be really cute for bullet journaling. And there's just kind of like a small sticker sheet thing that I made. Um, all of these are going to be available on my update tomorrow, so please check it out. Over here, I have another acrylic storage drawer. I got this one from Muji, and I used to use it for my makeup, but ever since I got back into journaling and art making, I just kind of transformed it into like a journaling thing. So on the bottom drawer, I just have a bunch of brush pens from Tombow and um, Koi Coloring that I really really like and on the first drawer I just have a bunch of stickers and other goodies that I got from other artists and independent creators. I hold on to every single letter that you guys write for me because I just really like handwritten letters and it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside when I read them. <laughs> and up here I just have some of my stamps, alphabet stamps, flower stamps, um, washi tape, random washi tape, and um, my no issue stamp that I use for all my packages. This stamp, however, it's like breaking apart as you can see here so i'm gonna need to super glue that if you received any of my packages lately you might have noticed that i didn't stamp it it's because this stamp is a little broken and it makes the seal look a little weird but yeah i'm gonna fix that soon and down here i just have a set of my bts dynamite stickers that i hung on to i might restock these i'm not sure yet and last but not least we have this little friend here whose leafy guy falls down all the time i got this from one of those random gumball machine things that you see in arcades and you don't really know what toys inside so the one that i got was this cute little cat with a little leaf friend on top and i love him so much so i brought him here with me coming over to to the right side we have this storage box thing that i just bought from target i just kind of keep everything else that i need to use in here but i'll show you guys as well so i have my bullet journal two sketchbooks and this um, set of himi gouache jelly cup paints 
in the first drawer i have things that i use for packaging and art making i have craft envelopes that i got from val box these come in a set of 200 and i can't believe i'm running out of my second box already it's crazy i have this sketchbook that i got from my supervisor who was an art therapist midliner highlighters color pencils and just some posca pens that i use for drawing i also have this label printer back here from faux memo that i've been using for all my packaging and just some more matte tape that i need for making my stickers so in the second drawer, I have more tech-related stuff. I have my Nintendo Switch here in case I wanted to play. Um, external hard drive for all my videos. My other camera that I use for traveling around. These two disposable Fujifilm cameras that I had with me ever since I lived in New York. I still haven't gotten the photos developed, but I'm just hanging on to them for now. I have some more ink for my printer and a Polaroid printer down here as well. My last drawer is just kind of like a bunch of random things that I didn't know where to put. I have my old bullet journals here. I have some art directives that I did with my art therapist friend from internship. A coloring book I got from a friend. I also have my drawing tablet from Wacom that I haven't used in years. And I also have these random wheels that were supposed to go on the storage box that I decided not to put on. <laughs> So that is all for my quick little desk tour. I like all the little decorations that I have on my desk. I think it makes my workspace feel a bit more like me because it's full of things that inspire me. And with sticker storage, I think the system that I have now kind of works for me. But if I were to come up with more designs, more sticker prints, more art prints, I would have to find a better way to store and organize everything. But for now, this works and I really, really like how this is set up. Shout out to Flexi Spot again for sending me this table. I really appreciate the extra space that I have to work with and I appreciate how ergonomic it is. I've been using this height adjustable desk for only two days and I already love it so much. If any of you guys are interested in purchasing this table, you can check the links in my description box. Flexi Spot is having a pre Black Friday sale right Right now and if you use my reference code you can get a $15 off your order today. Thank you again for watching this video and I hope you all stay safe and take care. Goodbye!